Carpal tunnel syndrome, it's one of the most common causes of wrist pain. How can you treat it? Our orthopedic insider, Dr. Elizabeth Wallet, says changing what you eat can help tremendously. Let's take a look. So number one, you already heard me say that 80% in this paper were obese. If you can just lose weight now, those of us who've been dieters all our life, I'm one of them, <laughs> we know that that is not so easy. Right. Uh, but I will give you very, two very simple tips, and then you make it fit whatever you know, way you wish to handle your diet. Number one is organic. Mm -hmm. Please go organic. Do you have to shop Whole Foods or more expensive stores to get it? No, you don't. Right. Uh, you can actually shop Costco, Target, uh, Publix. They all have organic areas and they all carry organic products. You so just an organic diet would be part of this? Correct. Okay. You need to know what you're doing and, and diminish the amount of toxins incoming. By the way, skin care is just as important. Mm -hmm. So soaps, etc. learn which ones. If you can't read the label, mm -hmm. your flares ought to be going up and rethink it. Right. And uh, so organic. And I've had people come back to me and say, wow, I can't believe how, how right you were. I thought you were just being you know, kind of woo-woo. <laughs> and, and they come back and say, I have a confession. I did what you told me. And it, they and feel it works. the difference. They, and, oh, they feel so much better. And you're going to hear this again for osteoarthritis. Same story. OK, and what's the second and, one? Uh, and the second thing is no pattern. So one of the things that we all do when we're going to diet, we say, I'm going to be tough. I'm just going to have an egg for breakfast. I'm going to have a yogurt for lunch. And I'm going to have a salad and four ounces of meat for dinner. And that's it. And you eat that same pattern every single day. What did you just tell your body, which, by the way, for most of the world has 1.5 to 4% Neanderthal genes. And those guys went through at least 10 interglacial ice ages. We as Homo sapiens have probably been through them at least three or four times. You've just signaled your body, ice age, and it is now going to conserve every calorie. It just shut you down. Right. Because it knows you need to survive another 20,000 years in severe cold. So now it's not going to let you burn anything. And we're programmed to not do that. Don't tell it what you're up to. So now pick five styles of different eating. Mediterranean one day, South Beach the next, Paleo the next, whatever. Well, right. you know, change it up. Change it up. And okay. same for exercise. Pick five styles of exercise. One day you walk, another day you swim, another day's treadmill, another day's weights or bands or whatever. Doesn't matter, but don't make any pattern. If you don't have a pattern, your body will not shut down and could start conserving every calorie. You're keeping it spontaneous for your body. Right, Absolutely. exactly. Okay, now for some patients, surgery may be an option if symptoms don't respond to other treatments. We have a video that highlights one patient's experience with carpal tunnel syndrome and how her pain went away after surgery. Let's take a look. You can see it has a lot of pieces. When you're a passionate quilter like Sandy Huber, there's always lots to sew, lots to cut. I couldn't do it anymore because my arm hurt. Lots to miss out on when carpal tunnel syndrome strikes. These fingers were, would always fall asleep. At night and in the morning, it would hurt a lot. Two or three times a night, it would wake me up. Sandy tried ice, a wrist brace, and cortisone shots. For many patients, such therapies bring relief, but for her, the ache and the numbness always return. So she joined the half million Americans who have surgery each year to deal with this all too common complaint. Carpal tunnel is the most common thing we see uh, in patients coming to the hand clinic. Mayo Clinic orthopedic surgeon Dr. Sanj Kakar says the problem lies in the palm of your hand, where a tight little band of tissue covers that important little tunnel. It permits uh, the travel of all the tendons, which are like the ropes that help you move your fingers in the hand, and also a nerve called the median nerve. Dr. Kakar says pressure on that nerve may be caused by inflammation, masses, or a thickening of tissue. So the goal of surgery is to ease the discomfort by opening the tunnel and relieving the pressure. So we would cut right here. Physically, what we're doing is we're releasing this uh, structure called the transverse carpal ligament, which is the roof pressing on the nerve. Well, this is a quilt I just finished. Fortunately, there are also therapies that work. I'm so happy that I did it. Now it's wonderful. Well, here's my question, doctor. So if surgery becomes an option and you go back to doing the kind of work that you did, is there, can carpal tunnel return? Uh, it can. So uh, uh, one of the other aspects to this is to release your carpal tunnel, 
You know, I, I put people through kind of a list of things. Right. You have to have sensory out, you have to have motor out, you have to have nerve conductions, which are positive. And if they're negative, all the other signs are positive because nerve conductions can be 30% false negative. Mm -hmm. And uh, so when you release the carpal tunnel, uh, you know, it works really beautifully. And in 95% of people, no matter how you release it, it doesn't, doesn't matter. Everybody, every surgeon's got different ways they do it. Right. But it's irrelevant. As long as the transverse carpal ligament is completely released, that's it. it and it works 95% of the time. And that relief is instant? Correct. Oof. Correct. Now, does your sensation, your motor come back instantly? No. And now that we have so many people living into their older years, i.e. 70 and up, right. they're coming in with carpal tunnel now. They, they didn't have it when they were younger, or maybe they did, but now it comes back with a vengeance when they're older. Because remember, it's hormone shifts, and even when you're older, you still have hormone shifts. It's not the big ones that we all know of, but they're still there. Uh, and they'll get their carpal tunnels released, and now I'm back to neuroscience. Why? It is brain, hand, function. Connection. It's plasticity right. of the brain. And so their brain hasn't been talking to their hand. So one of the other things that you know I tell all older people who've had carpal tunnel, don't get panicked that it takes you two to three years to feel in sync with it's this normal. hand again. It's normal. It takes your brain a chance to wow. catch up. And we've got more of Dr. Wollett's interview on the Health Channel app where you can learn about all different kinds of hand and wrist pain.